For the past several years, one of the few ways to get a clear view of the Waller Creek Tunnel Project is from the top of a parking garage. Now, this letter from attorneys with the city of Austin is providing a different perspective. It's a huge concern. Austin Mayor Steve Adler and city council members don't like what they've read. Right now we're asking a lot of questions. We're going to get uh, some answers back from, from the staff. The idea behind the project dates back more than 20 years. A plan was needed to help promote downtown development along Waller Creek, which is in a floodplain. <laughs> Voters approved about $20 million to divert stormwater down into a mile-long tunnel under Waller Creek. It starts at Waterloo Park and then dumps out into Ladybird Lake. S.J. Lewis Construction was hired seven years ago to dig the tunnel for almost $50 million. But the price tag for the overall project has increased to more than $160 million. This project has been snake bit from the very beginning, with the design of the intake house being too tall, violating the line of sight rule with the state capitol back there. But that problem pales in comparison with the claims now being made by the city regarding the tunnel. The default letter by the city demands a repayment of almost $22 million. The city claims that SJL constructed a tunnel with significant missing rebar, numerous surface imperfections, and a patchwork of repairs. A review by an engineering firm hired by the city concluded that the tunnel's capacity to control the flow of water is reduced by almost 70 percent, and that has reduced its primary purpose of flood control. It was also determined the tunnel has lost the structural integrity and the intended service life that the design tunnel would have provided. The attorneys went on to say, the city is forced to accept a tunnel with a diminished value. The default letter, which was sent February 23rd, states the city started documenting problems with the tunnel back in 2013. Were you blindsided by this too? I didn't, I didn't get a lot of notice uh, uh, for this as well. you got to be upset about that. I am pretty concerned about, as, as the whole council is, yes. Somebody going to lose their job on this one? I, I hardly think that that's going to happen. But I think at this point we need to, to find out what, what is first. We need to find out what's going on, and then we need to figure out what it is that, that happened here. Attorneys for S.J. Lewis Construction filed a lawsuit requesting a temporary restraining order. It's claimed the city has already accepted the tunnel project as completed and should not be able to classify the contract as terminated. Doing that, the company argues, could prevent them from getting hired for other government contracts. A hearing date on the request has not been set. In Austin, Rudy Kosky, Fox 7 Austin News.